Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Yano Modi. So, so many people ask me, uh, what kind of posts do you recommend when facing? So, I will give you my very top recommendation. First is the Brugham post that you find in your, in your local timber yards. They are on the budget friendly side. The price you get them is between 150 shillings to 250 shillings depending on your location. They give you like one or two seasons if not treated at all of a rainy season. Now, if you want them to last long, you can do a self-treatment. First way to make them last stronger is by applying oil before, before fencing. You can apply that oil even after. One five liter can of oil, he waste oil from engines is about 200 shillings. Uh, another way you can treat them, you can go to your local hardware, buy the wood preservative. Kibuyu Tungimojan ile mzuri ni kama 1500. So you go buy and do the preservation yourself before fencing. So when you do that, now that instead of the one or two seasons you are guaranteed off because they do rot, they do tend to rot when they are not so well preserved and they attract a lot of termites so instead of the one or two rainy seasons you are guaranteed of with that you can uh, you, you are sure you get another one or two extra seasons the next best option is cinder posts cinder posts are hardwood with a cedar post it will last longer uh, i have a cedar post here at home where it was planted at in almost 20 years ago and that cedar post up to today yeah it's in the same condition, Nirangi Tuime Badirika. It's in the same condition that it was 20 years ago. Now, there are two main problems with cedar posts. Eh? First of all, they're illegal. In main, not really illegal, but in some cases, when the forests are crossed, you keep at Kananayo, cedar posts become a bangi. So you have to be careful when and always seek after because they are hardwoods and sometimes the forest is closed by the government. Like in Kasa, even the root of the Gava, Akuna Shida. But the moment you ask the Gava, you can get forest and then you can get the transportation of cedar post, you can get the So that's one caveat about it. Another caveat about uh, cedar posts is they are quite thin. Come on, unapenda vitu nono. Ama posts in a, in a statement, cedar posts so is not, it won't work for you in that way. So they are quite thin. The last option I always recommend is pressure treated posts. Hear me right, pressure treated posts. Easy ni kama za kakuzi. Easy, bro, easy, but none of these ones are the high end. It can be budget. Uh, in most cases, they go, they, they cost roughly from anything from 500 shares to 1,000, depending on the company and the size of the post. Okay? Depending on the company and the size of the post. If you want, a, like Sasa Kakuzi is the best option. Kakuzi, they are the most expensive, but now you are assured of the quality. Uh, Kakuzi, they give you the smallest of seven foot posts. Goes around so currently, they are they are retailing at seven, almost eight hundred shillings, eh? seven seventy nine shillings or something to do with that. And then the eight foot post, almost eight fifty shillings. So. When it comes to those pressure treated posts, they are quite expensive. But now these ones will last even new longer and sasa and they of that that nini they have that aesthetic air cooperation. If you go if you find a cheaper company, please make sure these posts are properly treated. See rangi me pank koapa ju in a car green. Ata ili chukue so ama hama ama whatever ama panga. Cut to the core. Angalia katikati yo one yo kikingi. Ama eco pressure treated na dawa imeingia dani. It should have changed the color up to ikae veni na ka inje ikae pia ivondani. Kama za Kenya power. Za Kenya power ukaangalia inakuanga green ama yellowish to the core. So make sure that you have done that. Eh? At least you will be assured of a better quality. Now there are so many other posts but 
Uh, if you are working on a budget, you need to be so many ways by the way, are in a shida, but be, be assured that okay, cause I can to self preservation, kama oils. I don't need to be too mitia kawida, huh? Fan out to oils, it could find your service poor, yeah. But now, there are posts that I would never recommend you to buy, please, eh? Hizi ni posts zenye zina kuanga at your local timber yards that uh, seems to be treated but the selling price is below 500 shillings. Most rare hizi, hizi angalia sana kama ziko, ziko well treated because hizi ni rangi zina kuwa zime pako. We, we call them locally treated posts. Please avoid them. I would rather, ata kama zina kufraisha macho because they are huge eh, na they are big eh, the moment your dawa iko juu ita itaosho na the first amaturin seasons termites and rot data kio posts ushangae so avoid such posts and there are so many other ways you can preserve your posts unaweza paka mpaka oil paints so many ways you can do that eh? but my top three recommendations are the above depending on your budget and your preference and please if you have more questions about fencing and if you want to be fenced anywhere in Kenya, I do that. Na, we, have, we have very friendly prices. Na, okay, in case for a consultation call, I do them for free currently. I do, we don't know about the future. So don't hesitate to call. Ata kama unado, ata kama utaki kunipatia job. You have a question to ask, just call. Eh? I'm text me on my social handles. I leave all my, my links on, this, on the description and hope that you have run something in this video. Thank you and see you next time, guys.